video is on Poisson distribution. So in today's video, if the probability is 0 0.05 that a certain wide flange column will fill under a given axial load, what is the probability that among 16 such columns, see here n is equal to 16, at most 2 will fail, at least 4 will fail. So there are two questions here, at most 2 and at least 2. See, first of all, what is given? Probability that a certain column will fail under a given actual load is 0 0.05. See here, it is given that 0 0.05. So, P we have to consider as 0 0.05. And here, number of columns. See here, the number of such columns are 16. So, if you see here, N is equal to 16. So, if P and N are given, then what will be the lambda value? Lambda mean is equal to N into P. Lambda is equal to 16 into 0 0.05. So, that is 16 into, this is 5 by 100. This value is 5 by 100. So, if I cancel in 20 times, so this 8, so this will be 8 by 10. So, which is equal to, lambda is equal to 0 0.8. See here, the value here is 8. So, this will be 10 if I can, even if I cancel this one. So, the value here, lambda value is equal to 0 0.8. If lambda value is given, so we have to use Poisson distribution. So, if P value is very low, less, then we have to go with Poisson distribution. See what is there here. Lambda is equal to 0 0.8. And here, we have to find out the probability that at most 2 will fail. At most 2 will fail. Maximum 2. So, minimum it might be 0, 1 and 2. So, here the value here is maximum 2. X is. See here, x less than or equal to 2. So, which is equal to probability of x is equal to 0 plus probability of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 2. So, according to our uh, Poisson distribution, we have a formula that probability of x is equal to r is nothing but e power minus lambda, lambda power r by r factorial. So, we have our lambda value ready as 0 0.8 and next we have to go with r. So, here r is equal to 0, here r is equal to 1, here r is equal to 2. Now, the probability that x less than or equal to 2 is e power minus lambda. e power minus 0 0.8. This is lambda is equal to 0 0.8. r value is equal to 0. 0 by 0 factorial. And next one, if r is equal to 1, this is e power minus 0 0.8. 0 0.8 power 1 by 1 factorial. And the next one, if r is equal to 2, this will be e power minus 0 0.8. This is 0 0.8 square whole square by 2 factorial. So, this value we have to find out. So, if I take e, e power minus 0 0.8 common, then this will be anything to the power of 0 is 1 and 0 factorial is again equal to 1. So, this value is 0 0.8 and this value is 0 point whole square by 2. Therefore, probability of x less than or equal to 2 that is, is at, at most 2 value is equal to, see here, this is 1 plus 0 0.8 plus this value is 0 0.8 square divided by 2. This is 2.2.12. 2. So, this value is nothing but e power minus 0 0.8 into this is 2.12. And the next one is e power. So, this is e power minus 0 0.8 value into this is 2.12 the value here is 0 0.959525 see here the value is 0 0.95257 so this is the value for at most 2 will fail and the next one the next is for the next solution here is See, for the next solution, at least 4 will fail. See here, at least minimum 4, maximum till n value. See here, minimum 4, that is probability that at least 
फोर विल फेल मिनिमम फोर मैक्सिमम टिल एन इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन सो इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग दैट मिनिमम फोर दैट इज प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर प्लस प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव एंड टिल प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग दिस आई एम डूइंग वन माइनस प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो प्लस प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू प्लस प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग फ्रॉम फोर टिल सिक्सटीन इट्स ईजी ईजियर टू सॉल्व फ्रॉम वन माइनस प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू थ्री नाउ वी हैव फॉर्मुले रेडी हियर दैट इज वी हैव आर लैमडा वैल्यू एज सो वॉट इज आर लैमडा वैल्यू जीरो पॉइंट एट एंड सी हियर आर इज इक्वल टू जीरो वन टू एंड थ्री सी इफ आई सब्सटीट्यूट हियर दैट इज वन माइनस ई पार माइनस लैमडा बाय लैमडा पार आर बाय आर फैक्टोरियल एंड द नेक्स्ट वन ई पार माइनस लैमडा दिस इज लैमडा पार वन बाय वन फैक्टोरियल ई पार माइनस लैमडा दिस इज लैमडा पार स्क्वेर बाय टू फैक्टोरियल एंड द नेक्स्ट वन ई पार माइनस लैमडा दिस इज लैमडा पार क्यूब बाय थ्री फैक्टोरियल थ्री फैक्टोरियल now if i substitute all these values see what happens here the probability of uh, at least 4 will fail is 1 minus if i take e power minus 0.8 common so this value is equal to 1 plus this is 0.8 plus this is 0.8 whole square by 2 factorial plus 0.8 whole cube by 3 factorial so this value is needed so this is nothing but 1 minus e bar minus 0.8 into see here this is 1 plus 0.8 plus this value is 0.8 square divided by 2 plus this is 0.8 cube divided by 3 factorial is nothing but 6 the value here is 2 point so this value is uh, instead of doing like this i am writing 1 plus this is 0.8 plus this value is 0.8 square divided by 2 the value is 0.32 plus this is 0.8 cube divided by 3 factorial 1 into 2 into 3 which is equal to 6 the value here is 0.08533 and now if i add all these this will be 1 plus 0.8 plus 0.32 plus 0.08 0.08533 the value here is 2 point same same thing that is 2 point Zero two five three three three. So this value is e bar minus zero point eight minus one. So if I multiply the same value with into that is e bar minus zero point eight into minus one. So this is into minus one plus one. The value here is so this value is nothing but zero point zero zero. This is nine zero eight zero 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 seven. So this is the final value. So this is how we have to solve, and this is also so simple if you follow these steps. And see, first of all, what is given? If the probability is zero point zero five, that is certain white flange column will fill under the given axial load is zero point zero five. And see, what is the probability that among sixteen such columns, at most two will fail, at least four will fail. So here p value is given as zero point zero five and n is equal to sixteen and lambda value is equal to zero point eight and first thing is at most two will fail maximum two zero one two so this is the answer for that and at least four will fail minimum four means maximum till n value that is sixteen instead of doing from four to sixteen it is easier to solve from one minus zero to three. So this is the answer for that. That is zero point zero zero nine zero eight zero zero seven. Thank you so much.